Barbenheimer, a double bill that has set the internet on fire. So me and my friend Will, say hello Will. Hello. We decided to follow the memes and watch both of the films on the same day and make a whole thing about it. Starting with the only one that makes sense. Oppenheimer. You ready, Will? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, strange question, because I don't smoke. Could I have your cheapest cigarette and lighter, please? I like your outfit. Thank you. Special occasion. Uh, have you heard of the movie Oppenheimer? <laughs> Fucking kill myself. Oh my god. Right, let's go over here. Let's get away from that. There's so fucking many. What the fuck? I just, I asked for the, the cheapest. I already regret this. That's not a good <laughs> Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. This is so fucking embarrassing. <laughs> Everyone's gonna look at this, I'm gonna <laughs> cringe so much. Hi. Uh, could we get two Jaeger bombs, please? That's awful. <laughs> we got bombs, they didn't do Jaeger bombs. So we've got the ginger bomb. So, cheers. Explosions and shit. <laughs> got ginger aftertaste. Uh, uh, yeah, very gingery. At the place that we're drinking right now, they asked if we could fucking be on their social media. So, right, let me set this up. Oppenheimer for the vibes. Barbie for <laughs> an introspective deep search into my soul through the medium of philosophical cinema. Holy shit, he's written an essay! The bit that I don't know if I'm looking forward to, but I definitely want to see, apparently Oppenheimer hangs full dong. <laughs> he just I don't gets know, it out there. To that. <laughs> he just nice. full on whips it out. Killian and, Murphy's uh, or...? Killian Murphy, yeah, yeah. Just... But I'm very excited. Chris Van Olden's fucking great, so... Apart from that it's World War II and that it's the building of the atom bomb. Yeah. I don't know anything about it really. Yeah, me neither. Even that's, though it's like history. Do you know where they made history. it? At Birmingham University. They made it in Birmingham University, Birmingham. <laughs> just um, go with a random fact. So far, so good. Let's go and watch the film. Well, I don't know how I'm going to hold up in this suit for three hours. Actually, yeah, it's a three hour film. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be fun. Be right. Oppenheimer. 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 That's what we're talking to. He's just dressed up as Barbie. It's very normal. I mean, I can't talk, I can't say anything. I've fucking got an Oppenheimer hat on, but you know. Oppenheimer hat on. Oppenheimer's amazing, by the way. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Are you, are you alright being in the video? Can I show off your outfit? Yeah, it's great. Look at this. Sheesh. Let's go. Oh, no. In a pocket like that. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> we have been two places. This is crazy. Oppenheimer. Yeah, I'm really hot already. Yeah, I'm roasted. We're going to be in this for three hours. We just gave our tickets to the ticket person and they didn't look up at us. And then they looked up and went, ooh. Ooh! <laughs> Will's just gone to get drinks, which means I'm alone. It's much more embarrassing being dressed like this alone. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks, buddy. Uh... <laughs> Right, let's uh, go get some drinks and debrief. To me, to you. To Oppenheimer. Cheers. Four words. <laughs> Four words. Very long. Very good? Question mark. <laughs> every time there's spoilers, we'll put sp I'll put spoilers on the screen so you know. So you just d mute every time it says spoilers, okay? And then you're good. It felt like there was like two films, right? Kind of, yeah. There was Oppenheimer, like the bomb. <laughs> Yes. And like the the story behind the yes. atom bomb, like the trial, of... and then and then there was a trial afterwards. Yeah. There was like two different stories. First thing I have to say, yeah. there was no dong. Joe. You went for a wee at one point, and you said, "Well, if I missed the dong, <laughs> I was gonna, gonna be, be so annoyed if I missed the dong." <laughs> Didn't miss the dong. There no, was just no dong. No dong. Boobs. Uh, yeah. There was boobs. I'm upset at the fact we missed Killian Murphy dong. Mm. But we got Florence Pugh boobs, so, you know, come see, come sa, potato, potato. It's yeah. like, um, do you want gay son or thought daughter? It's like, do you want a Killian Murphy dong or do you want Florence Pugh boob? And both are good. Both, both are good. Both are good. I'll take either, honestly. <laughs> I'm an easy man. I feel just normal in these clothes now. Uh, we're even in here with, like, other people yeah. and doing this and filming. So we're at, like, a new level of non-give-a-fuckery <laughs> from, from the world. Good. We don't I, I used to do micro videos, so <laughs> this, is no, this is normal. I work for stands, right? So. There was one point, so most of the film, quite serious. 
Mm -hmm. Like, it's not a comedy. <laughs> There's mm -hmm. one point where we just looked at each other. Oh, dude, Einstein. Einstein, the, the cameos from Einstein were fucking crazy. It's when he comes out It from felt like the Avengers. It felt like we were watching a Marvel film and they had, like, holy shit, Doctor Strange came out of nowhere. Yeah, he just appeared. <laughs> it, was, it was literally like uh, in Infinity War. Captain America's in the shadows and he walks out of the shadows and, like, that music plays. It was like that, but it was fucking <laughs> Einstein. Einstein. Albert, to be clear, Albert Einstein. Oh, clear. Another thing we briefly mentioned: how many famous people there were in the film. Oh yeah, but like I feel like that's a given with a Christopher Nolan movie. Yeah. But like it was to new levels, like, literally. Like Oscar winner fucking uh, Rami Malek yes. was in it for like two seconds. Before we watched it, I mentioned Birmingham Uni because I'm I was sure that was where the Manhattan Project was like done, but they didn't mention it in the film. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, did we get that on camera? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, it's it's about. <laughs> Just um, go with a random fact. I'm sure you fuck it. Did, You're like, I can't oh, wait for Birmingham that, to be in the film. The where they made the bomb. I'm like, oh, sweet. Just isn't. Just was in the middle of fucking Wyoming. I'm Googling it now. Maybe it was just like more Oh, interesting. Basically, you're just wrong. So when I was looking out for fucking Killian Murphy Dong, I was looking, looking yeah, so every sex scene, yeah. I was like, oh, here it comes, here, here it comes. We you get to see the fucking huge dong. Which I was then very surprised by Florence Putit because of that, because I was yeah, only expecting Killian Murphy dong. The cutaway in the first sex scene from Killian Murphy talking to Florence Pugh, and then she says something like, oh, wiggle, wiggle, and he goes, <laughs> yeah. I know how to wiggle, wiggle, and then it's just her tits. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was fucking crazy. Whoever edited that, Christopher Nolan, whoever the fuck it was, must have looked at that and gone, that's the pinnacle of my career. A bit more serious talk. Uh, the atom bomb scene itself, like the test, mm. was fucking Very cool. insanely well done. Yeah. Um, like the the fact that it, there was no sound whatsoever yeah, and it was just fight, lights. For and a, then a the sound came well. in. Yeah. That was so brilliantly done. The sound design in the whole entire film was fucking impeccable. Loud, wasn't it? Yeah. Like so loud, but uh, again, like for the atom bomb part, the parts that you expect to be the loudest weren't. And it was all yeah. like a, a mental thing of like the cacophony of sounds that whenever Killian Murphy had to deal with things, like when he was giving his like congratulations speech on the bomb going off in Hiroshima and he realized this is fucking awful. Mm. And then the oh, crowd, yeah, the crowd cuts out and you can only hear him and like you can hear his mouth sounds and him breathing. Him and there's like a big flash of light, like there is a nuclear explosion. Dude, it's so good. That woman that they showed a few times with her, like a skin peeling off. Oh God, yeah, that was terrifying. What happened. I think there was a lot of people that were like, I'm not gonna go and see this film because it's gonna glorify the nuclear bomb. I'm like, I knew they weren't gonna do that going in because it's yeah. fucking Christopher Nolan and he's fucking understands yeah. society and that maybe nuclear bombs aren't great. But it was so well done. And yeah, uh, if you were thinking that, go and see the film because it's not that. It does a really good job of showing how bad it is, but also maybe it wasn't Oppenheimer's intention to make it a bad thing. I felt like they could have made him out to be a bit more of a bad guy. It felt, yeah, it felt okay. very much like they were like, oh, poor Mr. Oppenheimer for getting in trouble for making an atom bomb. At the end, yes. And it's like... But they still well, showed a lot of his flaws. Like, he wasn't a... Yeah. I wouldn't say he was like a nice which person. is why I feel like they should have ended the film on more of a yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah. not a nice person because <laughs> he did a lot of crazy things and mm -hmm. not great things and, and then, he made the worst thing in history <laughs> at multiple points in the film the crowd started chanting RP RP, RP. No, sorry in the film not like watching <laughs> no. we're sat wearing this RP <laughs> no like there were crowds in the film that they shout RP RP which when a crowd is doing it and it's kind of muffled, it sounds like Barbie, Barbie. <laughs> and I genuinely, I thought, I was like, this is crazy. Did they know? Did they, they did edited they... the film after all the memes? Yeah, the memes they knew. They were, they were chanting Barbie for the double yeah. bill. I thought the way that they framed Einstein was really, really interesting. Obviously, Einstein's a fucking genius and is really clever. And it seemed like towards the start of the film, they were hinting that 
Einstein is old yeah, and Pastor, Oppenheimer not, got old views. Yeah, yeah. Oppenheimer is the new clever. By the end of the film, you realise no, really, he's the smartest person for stopping mm. where he did, and Oppenheimer may be pretty stupid because really, he has doomed really the world into nuclear fire, and we're all going to eventually die. So let's watch Barbie. So, slight problem. We were supposed to go shopping as Ken yeah, for Barbie. I'm Barbie. Uh, I'm Barbie, Ken and Barbie, obviously. All of the shops are shut because it's like 8 p.m. We're gonna just wear as best we can for Ken. We have backup. We have backup, and I think it's gonna work. I just would have liked to have gone shopping. Yeah. The shopping would have been fun. We're gonna change into Ken outfits. You're not, you are. All right, you go as Ken. You go get Ken up. Let's go party. forward to Barbie more than Oppenheimer. I think I was as well before yeah. today. Trailers that I've seen is definitely like a meta take on Barbie. They know how stupid oh, yeah, it yeah. is and they're leaning into that heavily. And after Oppenheimer, now we know that there's, there's no dong in Oppenheimer. Wait, is there dong in Barbie? There might be dong in Barbie. Gosling dong. I, uh, I'll be gosling that dong if you know what I'm smoking. Barbenheimer update. We got free drinks. <laughs> So I went to the bar and asked for the Barbie cocktails and they said they'd run out. She was like, you know what? Seeing as you guys have been in here all day, <laughs> in and out, it's on me. I'll do you a pink drink. We've not tried it yet, so cheers to Barbie. Ken's everywhere. Ooh. It tastes pink. Oh my God, it tastes pink. That's, That's so nice. good. That is very nice. They're going to Barbie. Oh, they're definitely going to Barbie. Everything that I've seen it makes me so excited to go and see it. <laughs> yeah? Uh, I think I'm more excited to go and see Barbie than I was for Oppenheimer. I'll uh, be honest. I mean, I probably am too. Fuck it, let's go. Full Ken pill. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta get your glasses, dude. They brought in, uh, I don't know if you know this, Will. You know the girl from Sex Education that looks just like Margot Robbie? She's in the film. And they specifically hired her so they could do a scene that is like, oh wow, we look identical. No way. And then they got dressed up in Barbie outfits and went, tried to do the scene, and they went, we don't really look that alike. <laughs> so they scrapped the scene but kept her in the movie. No so, way. So uh, I'm looking forward to her scene. That's funny. Yeah. The vibes I'm getting for Barbie are the same vibes that I would be getting for Shrek 2. Yeah. I think that's a fair comment. Does that... That's I don't know why, I don't know what actually is the like the, the cross between. But they just feel like they give the same vibes to me and I can't explain it apart from that. So how are you feeling, Ken? Hey baby! <laughs> that's just that's not the film. What's that? Oh what is that? <laughs> it's a sticker! <laughs> how did you not see it, dude? Cheapers peepers. <laughs> Riddle me this. Put it on, you can't see it. Uh, right, we'll finish these drinks, and then there is a there's a Barbie deal in the cinema for like gin and tonics, I think. So we'll have those. Two Barbies, please. <laughs> Two Barbies. Mate, this actually looks sick. You got a little bit of leakage. Village is leakage, well. <laughs> it's on the inside. <laughs> This one on the inside that counts. Oh, what the what? That rim is so weird. That's not a sentence right I then. I'd say. Right then. I, I'm actually fucking very excited for Barbie. Me too. I think it would be very good. Well, Only in Kenya. Hey, Kenya, believe I just realized why you said it. <laughs> Kenya, so believe it. Kenya. I was like, why the fuck are you talking about Kenya? Just big savers. <laughs> Dude, she got a vagina. That was...
that was Barbie. We Holy shit, it. we completed it. We, we did it Barbenheimer. Barbenheimer. No spoilers for Barbie. Uh, the only spoiler I'm going to give... She fucking... She gets a vagina at the end. <laughs> what the fuck? Barbie canonically has a vagina. And the film was made by Mattel. And Mattel have featured very prominently in the film. Very. Logos. You'd people. think they'd be against that they sh- she goes to see a gyne- gynecologist at the end. the end. They're basically just like, yeah, Bobby's got a phone vagina, deal with it. Credits. Credits? Bang. It was crazy. I didn't even comprehend what I was seeing originally. <laughs> no spoilers now. Uh, that was a great film. That was so fucking funny. I, fun, yeah. I knew it was going to be meta. I didn't know it was going to be a fucking existential crisis. <laughs> that was crazy. Not really related to the film, but I was surprised at how many people were wearing Barbie things. Quite a lot. The Ken song was so good. I can imagine that actually like charting or something. Ryan Gosling was pretty good. Ryan Gosling was amazing. Was funny. The the casting in general, just top notch. It was basically it was crazy that we went from Oppenheimer, which has every single famous person in it that's ever existed, to, <laughs> to Barbie. The sex education cast. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, just the sex education <laughs> cast, but also so many famous people. Um, yeah, there was like three people from sex education. Yeah. It was so sick. <laughs> no, it made me laugh quite a lot. Uh, lots of. Moments where you're like, oh, the real world's kind of cringe, am I right? Yes, yeah, yeah. Going into the film, I did not expect Ken to have an incel arc. <laughs> like, I didn't yeah, expect yeah. Ken becoming an incel to be a thing. I kind of like that Ken and Barbie weren't just like this ideal couple, and they were like, actually... Yeah, I like the fact they didn't what? get really together. Really and Ken, so that's, that's I mean, Barbie that's becomes cool. a human was very weird. But, uh, I wonder if Ken gets a cock. <laughs> I wonder if Ken gets a cock. The the weird obsession of genitals in the film was yeah, very confusing. Quite a lot, quite a lot. There was a lot of talk of genitals, and it feels like it's crazy that Mattel pr- approved it because <laughs> there's yeah. so much genital talk, and it ends with. I, I like keep on was, saying this, I but go through a, an approval process. Yeah, they had to agree to people. it. People. And they went for it, so props to Mattel. Yeah, very, very fucking sick. Props to them, but that is is crazy. Lizzo doing a song at the start was very sick for, like, the... She was singing basically everything that Barbie did. And then the actual narration from uh, Helen Mirren was great. Um, Was it Helen Mirren? Yeah, yeah. But overall, fucking great film. I had a great time. Two good films. Two very good films. Double bill. Barb and <laughs> I look like I'm in like a fucking MTV fucking video. <laughs> I look like Jimmy Savile. <laughs> and on that note, and I think there's people having sex over there in that alley. I actually, could be. You know. I think they are. You know. Let's go film. Should we film it? <laughs> Binge and cringe. <laughs> Goodbye. I have no idea if any of that's good. Yeah. <laughs>